I'm Dr. Steen Dupont. I'm a researcher at the Natural History Museum, and I innovate with Lego. At the museum, we have about 80 million things, from dinosaur bones to elephant skulls to big shark heads in jars to moths and grains of sand. So being able to create solutions and adapt them is quite valuable. Part of my job is to figure out whether things are one species or the other. And to do that, I have to look at quite specific characteristics. And most of that is done under a microscope. So it's quite important that you can actually have quite a few specimens lined up in probably the same position and you can start looking at them and comparing them. Some of the things I've built are modeled around how we manipulate and operate with specimens in the museum. Other things are motorized contraptions that do some of that work as well, but automatic, so we have to touch the specimens less or create images from different angles or hold things where they need to be held down, for example. These are called flex, flexible Lego clamps and they've designed to hold down pages of old books. The challenge was actually that they had to provide a downward weight, but also pull. When I built this and I presented it to a few of my colleagues, they, they smiled very broadly and I knew I was onto something. So I've always played with Lego bricks. I started out with conventional Lego bricks when I was around four to six. Later on, transitions to Technic Lego. And most of the Technic Lego sets that I've built, the parts that I enjoy most have been the motors. I'm not an engineer, so just being able to play with it and wrap my head around the mechanics of it helped me understand it. The creative way of solving things with Lego is you build something, you take it apart, you rebuild it, you prototype, and you keep doing that until you get um, to the solution you want. If I was an engineer, I might be able to design it in one go and then just have it done, but I'm not. I have to get to that solution, and Lego bricks allow me to do that. I think most people are skeptical first about Lego as a tool. I mean, we're dealing with specimens that are hundreds of years old. They're brittle, they're fatigued, they will get damaged if you look at them wrong. And that's quite obvious when I show the contraptions to some of my colleagues, when they'll go, it looks fun, but you're not getting anywhere near my specimens with this. But then when they actually get around to, to feeling it, and they move around, they go, oh, actually, this is quite sturdy. This is actually quite nifty. And at the end, they go, that's brilliant. Lego bricks allow me to express my creativity. They allow me to share the solution that I wouldn't be able to express if I had to sit down and draw it on a computer. Days in the office where I get to sit with my LEGO collection and create things, I love that, definitely love that.